Well, listen, this is just running like shit. Okay. This is actually not my Enterprise, this is the shuttle I built to go visit the Enterprise. And for some reason, if I, even if I don't touch the controls at all, it tumbles. Um, yeah, look at that. Uncontrollable tumble, I don't really know what's going on there. It looks cool though, it looks like a neat little shuttle. Anyway, okay, the Enterprise is also in orbit. This is my surrender video. Um, basically, I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to. I was going to build it in segments, send them up into orbit, join them all up with docking, because I'm a docking master. And that would be the end of it. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Uh, I, I got the saucer into orbit, but the rest of it was just too hard. So, um, oh, this is really hard to bloody... This is going to be a fucking slideshow. I'm really upset about it. Because every time they update the game, it actually runs a bit better, because I don't know what they do to it, but they just make it a little more professional. No, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. And this one actually runs pretty well, too, when I'm not filming, but, um... Fat lot of good that is for somebody who makes, uh, videos for YouTube, I suppose. Um... Okay, well. I have to do that thing where you look away from the planet to, uh, make it run better. Oh! There it is, Enterprise A, coming into view. So at the very least, you guys have got a good slideshow of what the ship looks like, um, if not an actual proper video. I'm very sorry about that. Look at this thing, I've been, hang on, stop it from moving. And you sit there and don't do a thing, and all of a sudden, it starts to tumble. I don't know what the hell's up with it. One of you uh, professionals can look at the ship design and tell me what I've done wrong here. Of course I will. Oh, definitely, uh, coming up on some sort of ship down there. I'm actually not listening to the Kerbal music at the moment, this is the uh, From the Earth to the Moon soundtrack. It's very cool, great music. Look at this fucking thing. See, what I was, was going to do is be clever and fly this shuttle past the Enterprise like in the film, and then dock with it, but to be honest, I don't think I can get this thing to behave itself. Are we actually? Yeah, yeah, we're still, still headed towards it. One six kilometers. Maybe we can probably hasten that journey a bit, shall we? Okay. This thing's fucking useless. Look at it tumble. I can't, I can't control this thing. I mean, I've got two hands here on both controls. Just trying to keep the trajectory sort of where I want it to be. But the tumble is making it ridiculously hard. It's a shame. I really thought I was onto something with this design. Looks, looks awesome. <laughs> oh, 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 it's coming into view! Hmm? Trying to keep it under wraps as long as possible, but here we go. I should just switch to the Enterprise and control that. Seeing as though this is uh, not really going to work the way I wanted it to. Alright. Get away from that. Towards the uh, actual star of this video. Yeah, we're gonna switch ships. This isn't working for me. Because the way I built it is actually really hard to fly. I've got to press down to get the ship to pull up. Um, I don't know what the fuck's with that. And the nav ball is kind of confusing. That doesn't really point where you think it's going to point. Um, so yeah, this video is kind of an admission of defeat because I said, you know, this is kind of a challenge for me and David. We're going to see which one of us can get an Enterprise into space first, you know, and be all sort of competitive about it, but, you know, obviously, I, I wasn't able to do it the way I wanted it to do it. This is actually cheating. Um, <laughs> I cheated to get it into space just so I could get some nice pictures of it, as it was intended to be. So, um, don't think David's bothering with his one anymore. 
Just gonna get some nice vanity shots of the ship here. What do you reckon? Huh? What do you think of that? Well, that's basically that's basically it. Next song. Yeah. Now, what I was thinking of doing, you can tell me if this is a bad idea, is uh, basically put the craft file up, and uh, if anybody actually wants to have a challenge of getting this into space without cheating, they're free to do it. Because I'm, I'm bored of trying to make this thing work, I want to try some other stuff now. It's definitely a very good looking ship though, look at that stuff. The only thing I haven't done yet, and I was waiting until the video to do this, is actually turn the engines on. Because <laughs> it's got these two engines at the backside. <laughs> and they're definitely not balanced right to uh, the shape of the ship as such. Oh, that's one. Oh, give me that. This could be very bad. You know, I was just saying to David on MSN, I think he was trying to ignore me. This was one of those ship designs that doesn't matter which angle you try and photograph it from, it just looks awesome. Even, even with a slightly crappy job I've done of it here. Look at it. Is that not the most badass ship you've ever seen? Look at that shit. Except for the real thing, of course. Look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not a genius or anything, but, uh... <laughs> oh shit, that bloody, um, shuttle light belt's getting kind of close. There it is down there. Visitor shuttle. It's gonna come scooting past it any second, actually. Wait a minute. Yeah, not feeling terribly verbose tonight. I thought I'd just take a bunch of pictures and show you guys what I've been up to. Um, there we go. <laughs> Tumbling past sideways because I can get to fly straight. That's tragic. That is. There is actually a docking port on the back of the ship I could have used. I put that there in case I could, uh, you know. But, yeah. Not gonna happen. For one thing, that ship's uncontrollable, and second, this thing makes it lag too much, so... I just want to get it from every angle. It's just, it looks too cool. Look what I have created! <laughs> I tried to fix the lasagna sheet problem that me and David were talking about, which is basically that I made the saucer section out of rectangles. And the way I'd done it before just made it look like an uneven sort of, well, pile of lasagna sheeting. It was really quite uh, bad. I fixed it a little. It still doesn't look as nice as David's, admittedly. This part looks better though, I reckon. His engines weren't low enough. I mean, you, <laughs> I'm, you can tell me I'm wrong if you want. Um, what if we tip this thing over? Oh. It's very hard to control. And now it's oh, now I'm confused. I don't know which way is up. Ah, this is confusing. That was pointless. Now I fucked it. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> Great music. Look at all the little thrusters firing. <laughs> it actually wobbles quite a lot too, I noticed when I was trying to get it into space before. I uh, tried to get this thing to light up the way the thing in the movies does, by putting a couple of torches on it. It doesn't really work out that well, so I put an antenna in the middle as well, just for a bit of... Uh... Oh, yeah. Look at that! Look at that! Attention to detail, folks! Oh, fuck. What the fuck's going on here? Stop wobbling! cut up. Is it still wobbling? <laughs> the big floppy Enterprise. <laughs> this runs so atrociously bad. <laughs> Got a little Kermans flying away from the Enterprise. Spark! It's like that little Tiananmen Square dude from China. 
The one that gets run over by the tanks. Oh yeah, look at that. Just as the music swells. The most proud moment for this Kerbal. I'm actually gonna let the Enterprise fly past him if I can get it to happen. Whoa! Well, that <laughs> that lacked all drama. <laughs> oh, this isn't so bad. Look, Kerman's watching his Enterprise fly away. That might have actually been a good photo. Oh. Shit, better go after it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be chopping large segments of this video out. <laughs> oh, brave Kerman! This one looks like a good one. Oh. There we go. Back to the ship! Back into the boat! The ship! Oh god, come on! Oh, for a moment, the only thing I wanted to do now was to actually fire up the engine to see what happens if I try and uh, fly off in this thing, so, uh... <laughs> oh, here comes the ship! Get ready, guys, here we go. It's gonna be good. Warp speed! That's actually holding up pretty well! Hey, it's almost pilotable! Oh, and it is tipping forward now. Um, Oh fuck. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's gonna spin forever through space. Oh well. Oh, that was the last thing I wanted to test on this, but um... Well, it was a nice dream. Like I said, this is this whole video is basically to say to David, you win. Well, he doesn't win, I'm surrendering. Because he didn't do what I told him to do, which is to get his ship into orbit. Um... <laughs> that thing's fucked. Uh, turns out I can't really make videos of this, it's too laggy, but um, nobody complained about that unless you're going to give me advice on uh, stuff, you know, computer parts to buy, because I've more or less decided that for the channel I'm going to uh, spring for a better computer to make videos on, because uh, one of us has to do it, me or David, and uh, yeah. So yeah, don't say anything unless you're going to give me something constructive, like uh, what's a good video card, shit like that. <laughs> Alright.